wee. The lipstick I'm wearing is Mercury by Lime Crown. Purple and metallic and to be fair it doesn't really go with what I'm looking like right now but I wanted to wear it. And my tiny little face in the corner. But yeah, it's one of those big ones. So we'll start with something that I'm really excited about. Aren't they amazing? These were £14 for a pair of boots. I think that's fantastic, especially considering these are like embroidered. They're not stuck on or anything like that. Size 3 because I have teeny tiny baby feet and the heel is like perfect. I'm really excited about wearing them. I haven't quite planned outfits but I think they're going to go with everything. And they're wide fit for extra comfort so I'll be able to fit some nice big uh, fluffy socks in them. I think I have a problem with yellow. Everything I seem to buy them in is yellow. But this was one pound. And like it is like the exact same colour as what I'm well basically the exact same colour as what I'm wearing right now. But it's a pound. I think I saw Helen Anderson wearing this, I think that's where I saw it. Um soft velvety material. With like embossed zigzags in it, I think. And some weird patterns. Um, I bought this in a size 18 because it, like, I wanted it to be quite baggy and it's a crop top and I don't like work. I have the cares of the mountainous chest which means crop tops on me go about here and I am 100% not about that life so hopefully it's all look good. I'm going to do my best to do some try on cutaways but I love yellow and I love velvet so maybe that will go nicely in an outfit with the boots. This thing will definitely not be part of the outfit because I know, like I'm rather inept when it comes to fashion but I know that will not look good. I got this skirt. Where's the top? I am filming on a 50mm. Whee! I think it's really really nice for autumn and winter. I love uh, tartan and it's really soft. Like what, what material are you? It says it's 99% polyester. It doesn't feel like polyester, it's well soft. Um, oh my god, I didn't even realise this until right now. Pockets. It's got pockets. That's sold it. Uh, this is a size 12. I'm a size 12. It looks quite big. But it'll fit. But it's got pockets. I'm so happy about that. Um, eight quid. Which is, like I'd never normally spend this much money on things that are Primark. Like of the boots and the skirt. Obviously I'd spend a quid on a t-shirt because I'm not mental. But I'm usually around the like five pound mark of Primark but still. And again I'm going to sound like the biggest Helen Anderson fan girl in the entire world but I don't care. I saw this before I watched her video where she bought it and I'd seen it and I was like I don't know because I'm not a fan of this bit on chokers where they've got like a chain that attached them I prefer the ones with press studs on I was like oh but I really like it I don't know if it's still there next time I walk through Primark because I go through Primark to get into the shopping centre in London instead of just going into the main entrance and so I go in there all the time and I was like if I see it and I still want it and I've still been thinking about it then I'll get it, it's £2. In Topshop this would be like 12 quid. so and I watched Helen's video and she was wearing it and I was like I'm gonna have to buy that. I think it'll look cute. I hate it when people say this in videos but if any of you know me in real life you will know. I really hate it when people say that but you will know how much I have become obsessed with Primark's stick on nails. Ashley, I blame you. This is all your fault. This is like my sixth set of them and it's the mermaid ones, of course. Um, yeah, she's, she's a bad influence. These are £2, which I think is absolutely incredible considering you get 24 nails out of it. I'm trying to find all my other ones because I literally have a stack of them like this big and it's quite ridiculous. 
it was a toss up between these and the style that was called Pixie because they were really similar and I didn't want to buy both because they were that similar but these are the um, like pointy shape rather than the squared coffin top which weirdly I do prefer, I didn't think I'd prefer the pointy ones but oof, they're so pretty I never in my life thought I would spend 10 quid on tea towels but I did these are Mickey and Minnie tea towels with pom poms on the bottom pom poms and they're like the really good tea towels you know the ones that you can tell are actually going to dry your dish uh, there's two in each packet they've got this really cute Christmassy pattern on the back and that just says Mickey and Minnie and then it's got little mouse face and love hearts and it was £5 for this one so if you think of it as £2.50 per tea towel it's not that bad and I did this and this you can't it makes me sad that they've put the the um, packaging over the top so you can't see it but it's in there Mickey's in there uh, again it's just the same as the other one except black instead of red and obviously it's Mickey instead of Minnie and on the other one it's just mini um, Mickey repeated over and over and over again slightly less festive but still really wonderful and I will not be using these until my kitchen is finished and I will most likely be hiding them from my housemate as much as I love him he eats a lot of soup and I do not want any soup stains on these absolute angels pom poms yeah, five pound each. So if you think of it as two pound fifty per detail, it's not that bad. And now, my favourite thing. I've seen it all over Instagram over the past like three days, and it's, I saw it in the. I think it was the day I came back, the day after I came back, and I saw it just in the bag section. It wasn't like glorified in any way. It wasn't put with an outfit or anything like that. And I'd seen it, and I was like, oh my god. But it was before my loan came in and I couldn't buy it and I was really sad because I'm one of those people that every time I find something that I like in Primark I can never find it again when I've got enough money to buy it. So I went in, I had a doctor's appointment at 9am this morning, I'm not a morning person at all and I hate shopping on my own and I was like oh I'll just, I'll, I'm going to buy myself a treat for being brave about going to the doctors. I didn't have any panic attacks, I was very proud of myself. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll go to Superdrug and buy myself something, but obviously I had to walk through Primark on my way in, and I was like, oh, I might as well have a little look around, because I was looking for that choker anyway. And then I saw the bag after looking for a very long time. I walked around the entire bag section like six times, just making sure they're checking behind other bags that I wasn't there. And then I was about to give up on my quest, and I walked past like the featured wall, you know, where it's got like scarves and bags and boots and stuff that would basically make an outfit and I looked down to check into my bag and I saw this glisten of mustard and I was so happy because it was there here it is I really shouldn't have worn this jumper to film this video everything's been the same colour but isn't it amazing so Oh, it's even got the, it's, oh, it's one of them as seen in glamour ones. Fancy. So someone used it in a magazine. Um, find the price label, seven pounds. I genuinely didn't even look before I bought it because I was like, even if it was like 15 quid, I would have bought it. Seven pounds. For the love of my life. But this, what, what has annoyed me about it is this twisty bit isn't real. Like that's, that's not how you open the bag. You just pop it open like that which I suppose is a bit easier but it's got paper inside uh, it's got a bigger chain inside it but it's attached with a plasticky thing so like you can put it over your shoulder or I'm assuming you can double it over and inside it's just like a throw everything in kind of deal but it does have a zip compartment here which is usually where I put my keys and earphones just so they don't get mixed up with everything else just look at it you probably don't care about it as much as I do but if you do please talk to me about it and we can talk about my whole autumn palette that is going on right now because ever since I dyed my hair ginger this has been my life and I'm not even kidding like I have a leather jacket well leather jacket that's the exact same colour I have a skirt that's the same colour and I have a t-shirt and a bag I can make a whole outfit and just go out in mustard I might do that 
and it's got like that chevron embossed into it and there's the back and there's the bottom and there's the side view because I hate it when people do haul videos and don't show other angles of things but ta-da! Bag of dreams that I've been talking about for about a million years like I said brave at the doctors gonna go treat myself to something in Superdrug and I go to Superdrug all the time because that's where I buy all my makeup from also because they are the only local place to me that sell Diet Cherry Coke and I mean like it's my favourite thing. It's my absolute favourite thing. So this, this counts as part of my haul because they're two for two pounds and I bought two. But the thing that I knew I wanted but forgot would I forgot I'd be able to find it in Superdrug is something that I'm already wearing. It's incredible. And my friend Hannah suggested these to me, recommended this brand to me when we were talking about how it's sometimes quite difficult to be cruelty free in makeup and I went cruelty free like two years ago I think and the much, like everything of mine is now cruelty free even Primark makeup is cruelty free I missed something of my Primark haul I'll do that I'll do that at the end it's because it wasn't in my bag but I want to talk about this first we'll just talk about makeup it's a revolution highlighter liquid highlighter uh, when I took the plastic off it rips of the packaging off which was quite sad but it's in nearly it. it's in the shade colour unicorn elixir 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 I think that's how you say it and they had like six others other shades but they were all very like gold rose gold champagne colour and this is 100% where I was at and it's glittery like look look I'm in love I think it's absolutely incredible and it's one of those dropper ones as well I wanted the cover effects ones but I didn't know if they were cruelty free and they like 20 30 quid I think it's incredible the one thing I will say though is don't put it on your cupid's bow because it just makes you look like you've got a moustache because I tried that and I, I wasn't a fan maybe if you're one of those people that doesn't have hair on your lips, people actually get it waxed or they shave it or whatever then it was probably fine but I don't do anything like that and I do have peach fuzz literally all over my face and it wasn't good for that now, okay, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about I think unless it's something else that I've forgotten It's a peach palette. I have wanted a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette since it came out. Unfortunately, I am not in the kind of position where I can spend money like that on an eyeshadow palette. I do own the Birth of the Lion Crime Venus palettes, but I've had those for over two years and I use them every day. And I bought them at the same time for a bundle and even those together as a bundle I think was cheaper than the peach palette. But this was four pounds. Four pounds. And it says just peachy eyeshadow palette on the front. And then in this there's a little corner here where it says, smell me, I'm so peachy. And my god, they are not lying. It smells so good. Four pounds for nine eyeshadows. To me that's insane. And it says you're a peach because I am a peach and I am in fact wearing two of the colours right now I am wearing this one and this one together none of them have names or anything like that but there are three, four? there are four glittery um, shades there's a gold one a copper one a light pink and then a quite like plummy colour so one, two these two, that one and that one, they're all sparkly, the rest of them are matte but they're just, you can see, you can see, like this is worth more than £4, it's insane and this little one in the middle, it has a little face in it it's got a little face in it, it's got a little peach face in it it's so cute, but if anyone does shop 
in Primark for eyeshadow palettes. They will know the pin that I went through to try and get this. Every single eyeshadow palette that Primark seems to sell is smashed or is grubby or the packaging is damaged. I opened 15 of those palettes before picking that one up. 15. Like me and my friend, like there were sellotaped clothes. We were picking off the sellotape, opening all of them until I found one that wasn't damaged. It was totally worth it. They were four pound. I'd, I'd have like run a marathon to then get it to save not spending 50, 60 pound on an eyeshadow palette. I think it's insane. I think it's worth more than that. I think it's incredible. And I can't remember if I said how much the highlighter was, but it was six pounds. This one, six pounds. Look, like, and there's like, there's this much highlighter in it. Six pounds. I love, I love shopping. I have a problem. But that is my haul. I spent under fifty pounds, and I have one brand new highlighter, one brand new peachy eyeshadow palette, which has nine different shades in it, four new tea towels, a new pair of boots, and a new choker, a new skirt, and a new t-shirt and a new set of nails and a new bag I nearly forgot about the bag until I looked down right then and it is literally my favourite just look at it oh. oh I just love it so much but yeah that is my start of autumn haul I think it will tie me over quite nicely thank you for watching this I think is the first video I'm doing for my rendition of Vlogtober. Basically I'm going to be posting a video every other day. I post my weekend vlogs on Tuesdays every week anyway, so that'll be there as normal, but it will count as part of my Vlogtober because I am lazy. And apart from that, I think every other day, so most likely Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays for the whole of October, you will have a brand new video from me. Which I think is exciting. Um, and if you think it's also exciting, then feel free to subscribe to me. Subscribe to me. Mm. I feel cheesy asking for that, but you know, it'd be nice. I like doing this. Sat talking to yourself kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I say but yeah too many times and I say um too many times. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you on this will be Sunday. See you on Tuesday. <laughs>